What is it that you need at the very beginning of a startup? I think my main thing was that I was working in jobs that were interesting. I didn't find them incredibly boring, but I wasn't changing the world. In a world where peace and prosperity flourished, an ordinary skunk met the unexpected. So uh, basically I was working for a consultancy and I, I broke my leg. I was uh, at home for two weeks and I realized, well, it cannot continue like that. Um, I also had a major accident and decided um, I'd jump off the cliff now. You don't have massive risks. Even if you go out and work on a prototype and it fails completely, uh, what have you lost? Based on a true story of love, crime, despair, revenge. I wouldn't overemphasize this risk aspect too much. Just go out and try. I often decide things where I don't feel secure about. So after you graduate, set up a time box, six months. Generate maybe 20 ideas. Of those 20 ideas, prototype, whatever, five, go ask people what their opinion is. Of these eight ideas, probably you'll find two to three which are not completely stupid. The name is um, Komod. Um, we just uh, crossed the one million downloads mark. Um, we are offering a service for people um, who like to experience something on the weekend outside of the cities. We had no marketing, we had no sense of like uh, how to do app, app store marketing, for example. Um, but uh, in the first days it was downloaded several thousands of times. In the beginning you have two things you need to look at. The first one is retention and the second one is virality. Our Woogers come from over 40 countries around the world and we're all based here in Berlin. We all communicate in one language. You, you must be able to really have a good connection to each other, to communicate with each other um, on, on a very high level, sometimes even without talking. I think it's about like really planning and knowing how long your money will take you. I think the worst scenario is you're sitting in your office, you're not talking to the market, you're building a product, you think this one more feature will make the product great. Mm -hmm. What we did in the beginning and still do is just pick up people off the streets, um, give them 20 euros to use your product for 15-20 minutes and figure out, for example, games. Target audience is women 30 to 50. Hello. Ich will heute gerne den shop fab.de vorstellen. Within uh, the first month, we had uh, about 50% of our users coming from Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and social. We sell design products, and I'd say from the very, very beginning, the most important um, aspect for us was all about just our buyers um, finding things that they loved. Don't listen to the people because. Um, First of all, uh, if it comes to your product, don't listen to users that write you emails or tell you something about the product because these are normally then the hardcore super users. Every person is different. Don't let somebody else tell you what you should do because you're different than them. It was a big week for shopping online on Fab. Of course, you have to do user tests and just see how they use your product. This is my T-Rex. Carmen. Always remember that it's your career is a marathon, it's not a sprint. Always be curious, always be learning. Figure out what you're passionate about. And I think that's through a lot of the different...